The Boston Celtics are on to the Eastern Conference Finals. They steal game seven from the Toronto Raptors. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Bobby Manning, Jimmy Toscano, and Josue Pavone. Despite not making a field goal in the last five plus minutes of regulation, some really gutsy plays. Brad Stevens after the game said Marcus Smart's block and Jason Tatum's offensive rebound were by far the biggest plays of the game and probably the biggest plays of the the playoffs for the Celtics. Anything stand out to you down the stretch that just proved the character of this team? Yeah, the whole fourth quarter, really. Six turnovers for us in the first four or five minutes. Uh, the offensive rebound by Tatum, that's like right there with that smart block. Both of those plays don't happen. Even one of those plays don't happen. They probably don't win this game. And every week it feels like Marcus Smart has a new high for this team. It feels like just yesterday he had 11 threes in the first two games. So he's, he's the player of the series. He comes through in a big way again to end it. And while the Raptors did everything they could to give this game away, no energy all night, and the Celtics mm -hmm. still almost didn't do it. And for a game seven, it felt like this was a race to the bottom. Yeah, man. Wow. Marcus Smart, MVP of the series, no question, on both ends of the floor. Game seven was his best performance, in my opinion. I mean, we, we remember what he did in games one and two. Game he six. On both ends. And he had so many Marcus Smart plays, whether we're talking, you know, the play that Brad Stevens was talking about, which is obviously the biggest one of the night, or even the little ones, whether it was just a, a, a tap to, to deflect the ball to get the fast break going, or whether it was a big three when you thought that he was going to go ice cold after that quick start in the first quarter. I mean, the Celtics survived that 24 uh, run from the Raptors. They came back. They had another run in the second half. They created enough space. They had that double-digit lead. Sure, the Raptors did come back, but that cushion that they needed was there and Jason Tatum was there as well he was composed you know he had a a, a big turnover that could have really gotten to his head or he or, or he could have made that turnover uh you know two possessions before he did but he got to the free throw line and he really showed that he could uh close out a series and uh yeah it was one heck of a night for sure one one hell of a game seven those those plays that you mentioned Sierra the you know the smart block the Tatum offensive rebound you can keep going Grant Williams with some Big minutes down the stretch, even though he missed those free throws. I mean, he had a those he had a block. Throws. He had a block though, and and he did his thing um, out there, and that's why he was out there. I mean, that I thought he played well in the time that he was out there, obviously. And then even going back to Kemba missing a three, Smart's block turned into Kemba um, with the and one. I mean, when you're not offensively playing the way you know you can, you have to do those little things in order to win that game. And to me, that was the difference. The Celtics did more of the little things. Um, you know, the points off the turnovers tonight, the defense that they played, they were the team that did the little things when the shots weren't falling. They couldn't rely just on talent. They had to rely on, you know, just outworking the opponent. And that was the difference. And like you said, Marcus Smart, probably the most consistent player of the series, but it was Jason Tatum in game seven and Kemba Walker after the game, per usual, singing the praises of his teammates, but said if there was any questions from anyone about whether or not Jason Tatum has reached superstar status, his performance in game seven and his clutch factor in game seven should solidify that for everyone. Do you agree with the fact that Tatum has really risen to the cream of the crop in the NBA, especially in the series? I think with context, yes, because of all the defense he faced in this, because of all the traps and attacks on his pick and rolls, and really just how much harder this was than the Philadelphia series, because all he had to do against Philly was dance around a screen, shoot, and that's the ball game. But, but uh, overall, he, he did have some tough plays in the later stretches of this series. I think of the turnovers in game six. I think tonight, when they had to steal this game, chucks it a little bit too much in that spot, too. And I... I don't love going too far on the praises for him because he's made big strides, but he still has a long way to go as the primary ball handler of this team, especially against the elite defenses. And he's going to see Miami. He's going to see one of the LAs. It's only going to get tougher in terms of defensive teams from here on out. I think he's there, Sierra. I think uh, I got some LeBron vibes. Of course you do. I got some LeBron what? vibes tonight. Are you kidding me? Listen, this is this LeBron is, vibes. Yeah. You got to yeah. close the game. 1,000% LeBron vibes. Hear me out. Hear me out, Jimmy. Check this out. <laughs> Not only was he doing the, the, the signature come from behind block from that LeBron always does. He did do but that. He was, being, he was more composed down the stretch. And when he wasn't shooting well, which was the same thing we saw in game six, when he struggled, he did other things. He started with a triple-double again for the second night in a row this time. 12 rebounds. What was it? Nine assists or seven assists? Seven assists. Uh, yeah. Nine assists in game six. 25-plus points both 
games back to back. I mean, what more can you ask for without a performance like this from Jason Tatum? Without Jason Tatum doing what he did in that fourth quarter, the Celtics don't win this game. Jalen Brown I mean, too. Marcus Smart, big play, obviously went a long way, but those free throws to 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 slow the game down, to be composed, to convert when the team really needed you to in Game Seven on the biggest stage. Yeah, he's there. He's top ten for sure. The I'm not gonna say he's top huge. five. He's all right, keep Luka. it in your hey, keep it in your pants, man. All right, he's listen, not Luca. Listen, but Jason come on now. Tatum, Jason Tatum is a star. Jason Tatum is a star, upcoming superstar. But there wasn't anything about this series that made me say, "This guy is a superstar." I mean, I think he's a superstar in the making. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm not ready to put him there yet for a lot of the reasons that that Bobby said, um, you know, before. And I think as good as Jason Tatum was tonight, he still needed Marcus Smart's block. He still needed Jalen Brown's. He needed Brown. Half. Brown went nine exactly. to ten inside the arc. Exactly. No, so I, I'm agreeing completely. He needed all those other players. And if you want to be superstar, if you want to be LeBron James, who you just compared him to, LeBron James goes into takeover mode. And I didn't see that tonight. And I'm and I'm not saying that he needs to do that. I'm not trying to put him on LeBron James' level. I think he can get to that point, but I don't think he's there yet. The Heat yeah, series vibes, is a good thing. I said vibe. The Heat, I didn't say he's the heat the Heat series is a great place to start, though. Yeah, I was going to say, well, we have plenty of more opportunities now to see if Jason Tatum can get there and solidify him in your eyes, Jimmy, as an official mm. superstar. We'll have all of your yeah, right. twenty nine on our website at CLNS. He played great. He's playing great. Played great. And on our YouTube channel, at Celtics All Access. <laughs>